credit unions, banks that offer lower than 10% APR on a line of credit. Well, let's look that up. Uh, Perry, what state are you in again? And what we'll do is uh, I'll just look up your state and see if I can find something. To get a line of credit under 10%, yes, you do have to have good credit. And it also depends on the state. So I know in South Florida, it's, it, I do see commonly like SunTrust, Tropical, I've seen it, Power Financial. I've seen credit lines as low as like close to what the HELOCs offer, like six, seven, eight percent. Honestly, Perry, you just, you just look up banks and you just look them up. All the, the credit unions in your state, but comment the state that you're in so I can see. Oh yeah, Massachusetts, that's right. Cool. So let's see what we got here. First couple of credit unions that pop up, we got Direct Federal Credit Union in Massachusetts. You know what's funny? When you're looking for a line of credit on the website of all banks, typically the line of credit is in the same section as personal loans. So don't skip over it, type, uh, you know, click on personal loans because it'll probably be there. Because technically a line of credit is a loan. It's the weirdest thing. It's the, you know, it's the terminology that confuses people all the time. But when I go on direct federal credit union, I see on the, when I click on personal loans, they have a personal loan and they have a personal line of credit. With lines of credits of up to 10,000, our personal line of credit allows you to add overdraft protection with your uh, direct federal checking account, or simply hold a revolving line of credit for the times when extra funds are needed to cover home expense or the holiday expense. Okay, so let's see. Let me go to apply today. Sometimes the banks do not display the rates, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to list all the credit unions that I can find in the next 20 minutes or so that offer line of credit because I know I have clients all over the US and what I've been doing on the manifesto video program is I've been making videos in each state for all the uh, credit unions that I can find so direct credit union they did not display the interest rate so I don't know what their interest rate I'm looking around see if they show it somewhere they also have home equity lines okay Home equity line of credit. Super low rates. Your APR will be prime minus 0.76%, which is currently 3.99. So they're going to give you a 3.99% rate. That's pretty low. Pretty cool. Flexible custom fit to your needs. Borrow up to 80% of your equity in your home with equity lines from 20000 to 500000 Okay. Um, so they also do HELOC, seeing a 3.99 rate. That's probably based on your credit worthiness. It says no closing costs, no application fees, no annual fees, no recording fees. We like that. They really don't have a lot of fees. That's great. And they also do home equity loans, but we don't want to do that. We want to stick to the home equity line of credit. Okay, so it looks like they got something real nice there going on. So whenever you're looking at, you're looking for a line of credit, if it doesn't say personal loans to find the line of credit, the other term that they use is consumer loans. And when I clicked on it, it took me to something that said personal loan. Great. So they have, they have an overdraft line of credit, a O-L-O-C, overdraft line of credit and that's kind of like a checking line of credit so Metro Credit Union let's put them on the board we got direct Rockland Metro let's see I see another one called DCU Credit Union they call it they call it signature personal loan same thing loan line of credit they have something called a home equity line plus no minimum advance requirement that means you borrow what you want when you need it up to your available balance. Wow, that's like velocity banking words right there. It says lock in your fixed rate advance. So you can lock in a rate as low as 
That's pretty cool. You know, at the end of the day, I think when it comes to like whether you want a fixed or a variable, uh, fixed rate, you're probably a conservative person. You're like, you know what? Don't bother me. I'm happy with my 4%, my 6% rate. I'll live with it. Whereas a, a variable rate, you know, is typically below prime for a little while and then it'll go up and it could shoot up or whatever. So if you don't want none of that happening, stick to a fixed rate. Stick to it. You know, and again, we're not doing velocity banking for that long. As your credit score improves, you know, this is me talking to Joel right now. As your, as your credit score improves, dude, we'll bounce. We'll bounce from credit line to credit line, right? You, you may start out with a personal line of credit at 14, 15%. And then as you fix your credit, we'll go get another personal line of credit for 8%. And then we'll jump to a HELOC and then jump to the policy, you know? So we're not really gonna stay with one thing forever. Okay, that's another thing I want you guys to know. You're not gonna really stay at that one line of credit forever. I constantly tell people to increase the credit line because typically the higher the credit line is, the lower the interest rate would, would be because your credit score gets better. And that gives you access to more stuff. So I'm gonna write DCU has HELOC and they call it Home Equity Line Plus. So most credit unions have HELOCs, and then it, it usually gets tougher to find those PLOCs, man. Those PLOCs are a little bit tougher to find. Let's see, RTN Federal Credit Union. Let's see what they got. They use the term consumer loan, so we're gonna look in there. Do not offer PLOC, I don't see it. Sometimes, this is what I recommend people to do, is if you don't see it on the website, doesn't mean they don't have it necessarily. They could have it, they just don't advertise it, right? Give them a call. Each bank, just give them a call. Hey, you guys offer personal line of credit? Yeah, no? Okay, thank you, have a good day, you know? And you'll just, you know, write on your list. So if you're looking to be quick, in terms of finding a line of credit, to be quick, just look up credit unions in your state and you just get a whole list and you just go one by one. You call each and every one of them. You ask them if they offer a personal line of credit, HELOC, and what are the interest rates? And what are the fees to have them, if there are any? And that's it. Looks like they do offer HELOC. On the manifesto, I'll have more dedicated videos where I, where I take the time to actually look this stuff up and, and call them myself and, and ask those questions so that I can get the proper you know, answers and then I dedicate one video to each state to find those credit unions. And then I do videos on uh, nationwide credit unions and, and major banks. So it's like worst case scenario, we just go with a major bank or a bank that's nationwide and we'll find something.